Murfreesboro City Schools started a new daycare program in 2018 for employees' children called Little Sprouts. It is based at Mitchell Nielsen School and has won rave reviews. We are the only school in the district in the district that's doing um, this daycare center, and I've wanted to do one for a long time. But our ESP program took this on. Um, Mr. Ringstaff spearheaded that, and so when he approached me and asked if I was interested in hosting that here, I was ecstatic and said, "Absolutely! You just tell me what I need to do to make it happen." So it's open to all Murfreesboro City School teachers. It's not just Mitchell Nelson. It's for all schools. And it's not just for teachers, we have um, cafeteria workers, we have teachers aides, children and grandchildren. What I love most about ha being part of this employee child care and child care in a school is that sense of community. Um, teachers are right down the hall from their children for the most part. Um, it takes away for that parent, for that teacher, they're not worried about their child. And in return, by them being less stressed, they're able to focus on their job, which is such a great benefit for their students, for the whole school community. Oh, it's been a tremendous help. As soon as I got word um, that there was going to be um, an on-site daycare, I sent my email right away that um, I wanted uh, my daughter to be a part of it. Um, and it's been a huge help, um, not to mention just the convenience but um, the staff does a great job. I used to leave her and she would be crying when I left. Now she tells me bye-bye and runs off with her friends. So she is very excited to be at school now and she does not mind if mommy leaves. The creative curriculum is used for the Little Sprouts daycare program. It is a comprehensive preschool curriculum that is research-based. It features exploration and discovery as a way of learning to develop confidence, creativity, and lifelong critical thinking skills. We've done a, um, a tree study. We've done um, a weather and rainbow and cloud study. We're currently doing a farm study. Um, and so our studies last anywhere from four to six weeks. And so it's not a theme of the week. We're not hitting and running. We're really digging in and exploring. Our preschool teacher has a master's in um, literacy. And so that again adds to that literacy rich environment. She's coming home learning all kinds of new words, sign language, it's, it's amazing all the things that they have been teaching. The teachers are awesome. At the end of the week, they send out a fabulous newsletter um, with tons of photos and you can sort of experience the week um, and see what your baby did. At Mitchell Nielsen Schools, they have integrated the school-aged kids with the daycare children in a club called the Babysitter's Club. This year, we uh, decided to have a Babysitter's Club because we had this option and it was so popular we have two clubs. So one of the clubs is strictly sixth graders and we're working with the Red Cross to make sure that we can get them um, babysitter certified mm -hmm. and they weren't so sure about them when they first came in mm -hmm. but then when they leave the little ones cry because they don't want the, the, the bigger kids to leave. So if a teacher is interested in enrollment for next year, um, the best way to contact me is through email. Um, christy.yarlet at cityschools.net and um, I'll be sending out enrollment information over the next couple of weeks. It will not open until June 1st. Teachers um, naturally want to be parents and the, the, they make great parents and great parents make great teachers. If I have a teacher that's doing a wonderful job here and then has a baby, I don't want to lose them. And frankly, it makes them happy to know that their children are right here. And if I can keep my teachers happy, then that's, that's part of my job.